Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here, ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So today I wanted to talk to you about, um, you know, adding some graphical elements to your websites to add depth and add um, a more aesthetically pleasing look to your websites. Um, and this particular effect that I'm going to be talking about today is gradients, using gradients to your, on your website. So here we are at the Apple, Apple's website. And I wanted to go through a few different, um, you know, top major websites and just show you how they use uh, gradients to enhance the design and the graphical treatments of their websites to to add more depth and make it more aesthetically pleasing. So right off the bat, you notice at Apple, they have a gradient as their background it goes from a light, a white, to a soft gray. And one of the things about gradients, if you if it's done well, it's it's very subtle. And you won't even notice it. You'll just notice that the page looks really polished, but you won't actually notice the gradient. And that's that's done. That's when you you know you've done a good job in using gradient. So they do that there on the background. Look at these containers that they have. That these four containers that Apple uses. This instead of just being a white container, white background, they have a soft gray blending into a white. So take a look at Apple. And and just kind of study what I'm what I'm talking about. You notice their navigation bar; it's a gray that blends into a darker gray. So all these little subtle gradients, gradient treatments um, on a website actually brings it out and adds more depth and allow your website, your web design, to look more polished and more aesthetically pleasing. Go over to Microsoft; same thing. Notice their background right off the bat blends in from a sky blue to more of like a a nice soft royal blue or not royal blue but just a darker blue um, same with here they have like a nice uh, blue blends into like a sky blue and you look throughout their website even their navigation bar white right here where it says about Microsoft it goes from a white at the top to a gray at the bottom okay look at their buttons look at this box here all this stuff, you know, they have like nice little gradients. Even the navigation bar blends this little background to this little, to this uh, nav bar here. It goes from white and it blends in with the transparency to the background. So overall, combining all these little little gradients, even notice there the button here. It goes from a orange to a little bit darker orange on their button. So all these little gradient treatments on a website actually adds more polish, more depth to your overall web design. Let's go over to ESPN.com. Obviously they have a nice colorful gradient treatment in the background, but you notice this this bar here where it says all sports, commentary, page two, fantasy. Notice the this background goes from a dark burgundy. If you look over here, go from a dark burgundy to blends into a transparent a, a nice transparency so it blends in there notice the links here this container that houses these links it goes from a white to a dark or to a soft gray even this container that houses these images in this headline here it goes from white to a soft gray at the bottom so the point is Take a look at these websites. Study. Look around. There's you'll find you know gradients. Even this this little navigation bar right here was this TV, radio, magazine. The background container. It's a nice gradient background from you know burgundy to a darker burgundy. Has a nice effect there. So all these little gradient graphical treatments add depth and overall polish to you know the website. And um, once you combine these well. It should it should add um, be a, be a, a good thing for your for your website and bring it out. Um, let's go over to to Fireworks. I just want to show you how to easily create something like this. So the container, let's say whatever you're you're designing, whether it's a button, a container, a background container that house um, some some information. You when you first design it, you just start off with a box and you add a nice gradient to it. Okay. Now, this is what I would consider a, a hard gradient, where you 
you have a dark color that blends into uh, a very high contrast light color so it's a dark gray so what I would recommend is going with more of a soft gradient where the dark color is actually light something like that so that it's actually a subtle transition it's a soft transition so in this case I'm using a gray you know but any color would do any light color and then the border around your container I say should be a few shades darker than the darkest color of your gradient in this case I have a I have a, a light gray color here so I'm gonna go with a little sh darker shade border alright so that's pretty much it let's just let me go over to ISOC photo I'm gonna grab a I'm gonna grab a photo just to give you an example of what what I'm talking about so let's say you're making a container for for you know sport categories you see so so here's a nice soft uh, nice polished box if you if we do the same box and not have the gradient let's do a, a, just a gray if you look at these two you notice the difference this one on the on the left is more polished and all all we did was add a soft gradient and the one on the right is a solid color and it doesn't matter which color you choose it's just doesn't give you the same doesn't give you the same um, effect that a gradient that a gradient gives you you know so point is go with the gradient use a gradient you know on your website in different places and it would add more um, more depth more uh, more polish to your design and make it more aesthetically pleasing alright so just wanted to show that little tip for you today um, it's something that I use throughout my designs um, something that I've learned from all the the major websites out there I just studied these websites and sort of apply these techniques to to my designs and um, um, it's been been helpful for me and successful in, in, in my design career and uh, maybe you can use it as well. All right. So use that tip. Use gradients and uh, we'll talk soon. All right. If you have any questions, shoot me an email mlock at mlwebco.com and uh, we'll catch up later. All right. Bye bye.